Hello everyone, this is Miss Demmer, and today what we are going to be doing is our I can statement is I can draw polygons on a coordinate grid and find their side lengths. Now, a while back, actually in chapter one, we talked about how to plot points. And before we get started today, we're going to review some of those terms just in case if you forgot. So here is our coordinate grid. Now, if we notice here, this is our x-axis, so anything on this line right here is your x-axis. Then I'm actually going to make this in a different color. Let's do this pink color. Okay, right here is our y-axis, so anything that falls on this is our y-axis. Okay, then we split these up into quadrants. So quadrants like this is quadrant 1. Notice how our x and our y axis are both positive numbers. So that's why it says positive comma positive. Because that's how we write our points. Okay? Quadrant 2, which is right here. So it goes 1. Then 2 goes right over here if you see where my cursor is. That is a negative number first, then a positive number. If you notice, our x axis is always going to come first y-axis always comes second. Quadrant 3, we have a negative and a negative number, and quadrant 4 is a positive and a negative number. Okay? So here, as you see down here, how to plot the points, x-axis is 2, y-axis is 1. Notice how x always comes first. So when we plot this point, we go 2 on our x-axis, 2, up to 1. Now, a lot of students always ask about, like, what if we would have 1 and 3? Or 0 and 3, excuse me. Okay, we're going to make this point B. I would still go to my x-axis first, and I would go to 0, and then I would go up to 3 on my y-axis. So that's where that would be plotted. If it was the opposite way, like 3 comma 0, I would go still on my x-axis first, go to my x-axis, find 3, and then my y-axis, I can't go up any because it's zero, so that's where I would plot C, and I should have plotted this B, okay? If you have any questions about that, just let me know, okay? Now, now that you have these notes and a good refresher, we're going to start in the lesson. Now, I modified the lesson a little bit, so this is the sheet that you should have. If you don't have this right now, make sure you pause the video, grab the sheet, and then follow along with me. Okay, now that you have the sheet, I want you, we are going to draw the following points on the coordinate get, grid, and we're going to find the missing point here, okay? So this problem is a rectangle, okay? So we're going to plot these points, point A, negative 8, and 8. We go to our x-axis first, then our y-axis. So I go negative 8 on my x-axis, and then positive, up to positive 8, here, and I'm going to plot that, and then you always put the letter with it, okay? And I always cross it off as I go, or so I can see it, I might even just check it off, okay? B, negative 8, and then we go up to 6. So notice how I started my x-axis, I go to negative 8, and then I go up to 6, and I plot that B. Check, okay? C, we go negative 1, and then up to 8. Okay, so those are our points. Now they want to know what D is. Now we haven't plotted D yet. So the length of A to B, well let's look. Each of these little boxes is a unit, okay? So I'm going to count here, and it goes 1, 2. Notice how there's two units here, so I'm going to write two units. Okay? Now, if I were to show this using a, an equation, you're going to actually use the points that we have located here. So if I look A and B, they are two apart. Now, I always look, okay, they're both on the same x-axis, so we're going to have to use our y-axis to make the equation. So, I go over here, 
the absolute value. And remember these bars right here? I'm going to highlight it so you can see that. These bars, those are absolute value bars. So that means the distance away from zero. Okay, how far away something is from zero. And then the absolute value of negative, or of positive six, because both these are positive numbers. Now the absolute value of eight is just eight, and the absolute value of six is just six. But if we subtract those two, we get two units just like they got right here. So our equation would look something like this. Okay? Now in order to find D, when we find a rectangle, each corner is, is a right angle, meaning that we show that little 90 degree angle. So my D has got to be located here. So I'm going to go to negative 1, because we do x-axis first, and 6. So this is going to be negative 1, 6. Okay? That's our first one. Now we're going to make a right triangle. A right triangle means that we have to have one angle that is a right angle. Okay? So we're going to plot all these points. If I were you right now, I would pause the video... I would plot the points and then I'd check to make sure that I did it correctly. Okay? So I'm going to start plotting those points right now. If you have not done so, please pause the video, plot them, and then check your work. So E, I go to my x axis, 3 up to 1. And I put an E here. Then I go to 5 up to 4. And I put an F here. And then I go to 5, up to 1, and I get a G here. I connect those lines, and notice how this is a right angle, okay? Because both F and G are on the same line. And I forgot to tell you this, but like you see this right here, that little line on top, that means that's the line, the whole line of that. Okay, so we have our points plotted. Then we have to find the length from F to G. So you notice that little line up top. We're going to count the units. One, two, three. I have three units. And notice we talk a lot about labels in class. Make sure you put labels on there. Now show using an equation. Well, my x-axis, both numbers are the same. So that's not going to show me how, if I have to add or subtract them. Now... 1 and 4, if I were to subtract 4 from 1, that'd give me 3. That'd give me 3 units. You always show these with absolute value. So 4 minus 1. The reason why you always show these with absolute value is let's say that I plot, like, I'm going to show you another example since we're done with this problem now. But if I would plot a point here, here, and here. So I made a right triangle here. And we're just going to label these A, B, and C. Now, if they were asking me to find the line of A, B, I'm looking here, and my point A is at negative 5, comma, 1. Notice how I always have that X first. Then my point B is at negative 5, negative 3. Okay? Now, the reason why we always show this with absolute value, if they're asking for the length, and you can write this on your paper, of AB is because if I were to look at this, 1 and 3, if I find the absolute value of 1 and the absolute value of 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 units apart. So I'm going to have to add those. Because the absolute value of 1 is 1, and the absolute value of 3 is 3. Remember, absolute value is always positive numbers. Both of these are equal to 4. So that's how I would get 4 units there. Okay? If you need to pause right now to get that written down on your paper somewhere, do that now. Then come back, and we're going to do the last problem. Again... 
I want you to try number all of number three, plotting the points, finding the length, and everything on your own. Now, pause the video, show that, and then check to see if you did it correctly. So I'm going to do it right now. I look at H, I go to 1 and negative 2. And I plot that as my H. Then I go to 1 and negative 5, and that is my I. Then I go to, then they want to know what point J is. Now, we don't even have where this distance would be, so we're going to have to really do some thinking here. So absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2, because remember, absolute value is how far away something is from 0. So 5 minus 2 gives me 3 units. I check over here, 1, 2, 3, good, we're good there. Now notice I and J, they find the absolute value of 5 and 1, which gives us 4. That means from my I to my J, it has to be 4 units. Well, since this is a right triangle, it's just going to go straight across. So ready? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's exactly where that point J needs to go because that's where the distance from I to J, that's what that tells us there. Now I connect everything, and this would be 5 and negative 5. So this point is going to be 5, comma, negative 5. Okay? So notice my X came first, then my Y. All right? All right, what I would like you to do right now is when you are done with this and you understand everything, go ahead and look at the home link. The home link is going to look something like this. This right here is your home link. Right up here, you're going to be plotting the points and finding the distance with the equations that they give you and find the missing length. Down here, you're going to say, like, notice point A, B. They put both of those in, and then they find an expression. And down here, you're using long division using remainders. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a great rest of your day.